In this question, we have to prove that the product of lengths of perpendiculars drawn from the points square root a squared minus b squared comma 0 and minus square root a squared minus b squared comma 0 to the line x upon a cos theta plus y upon b sin theta equals to 1 is b squared. So to solve this question, first I will simplify my equation of line that is x upon a cos theta plus y upon b sin theta and I will bring this 1 on the left side so I get minus 1 equals to 0. Now I will take LCM AB this will give me B cos theta x plus A sin theta y minus AB equals to 0 or this will give me B cos theta x plus A sin theta y minus AB equals to 0. Now I have to find lengths of perpendiculars from two points to this line and that is same as the perpendicular distances of the two points from the line. So I will write perpendicular distance of first point from the line. Let's call this line 1. So D1 will become an absolute value B cos theta x1 is square root a squared minus b squared plus a sin theta into 0 because y1 is 0 minus a b divided by square root of coefficients of x squared and coefficient of y squared so that is b squared cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta the whole thing in square root absolute value. In the same way I can find perpendicular distance of second point. So I get d2 equals to in absolute value and this time we have minus square root a squared minus b squared. So minus b cos theta square root a squared minus b squared plus a sin theta y2 is 0 minus a b divided by square root of b squared cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta. Now we have to find products of d1 and d2. So d1 into d2 I can write the whole thing in absolute value sign and this becomes b cos theta square root a square minus b squared and I will skip the zero term minus a b divided by square root of b squared cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta into minus b cos theta square root a squared minus b squared minus a b divided by square root of b squared cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta whole thing in absolute value that will be equals to it is a minus b minus a minus b so that becomes minus b squared cos squared theta a squared minus b squared plus a squared b squared divided by and denominator is square root of same thing twice so that becomes b squared cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta whole thing in absolute value or that simplifies to I can take b square common from this so I get b squared out then I have minus cos squared theta a square plus cos squared theta b square plus a square divided by b squared cos squared theta plus a squared sin squared theta. Here this a square and minus cos squared theta a square I can write that together so that will give me equals to b squared a squared 1 minus 
cos square theta plus b square cos square theta divided by b square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta equals to b square here 1 minus cos square theta i can write sin square theta so a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta divided by b square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta now this will cancel this so i am left with absolute value of b square or that is just b square because b square is always positive